Hey guys, Nate the Farmer here, back at the shop again. Quite a bit of shop work happening on this farm right now. Kind of makes a mess, but sometimes it's got to happen. So what we're going to do is, we're going to walk up here and show you where we're at. Over the next few weeks, there'll be a lot of projects happening, because Mike, Chris, Junior, and myself are going to be doing a major revamp on all the hayride wagon. In the past, you come down there and we had wooden sides built on this red wagon. But we decided it was time for an upgrade, didn't we, Mike? So what we're gonna to try to do here, if I can get this camera whipped around so you guys can see, is, here we go. All right. If you've ever been out of the farm before and ridden on the big hayride wagon, the red one, it always had wooden sides on it. And they worked fine. Junior and I put them together, you know, in a pinch one time, and they were good and stout. But we've always wanted something a little bit more rigid, something that was safer, and something we could take on and off as we went. So what we're going to do over the next few days is develop a type of removable railing that will both give kids and adults a good view of the field, because a lot of times the railing blocks the kids' view, um, and just be genuinely safer. And our step back here, well, I always tell people when they got on the wagon that the steps had a mind of their own, Mike. <laughs> they would just change an angle at any time. So, well, hey, say hey, Junior. So what we're going to do is figure out a new step system and a better ramp system so that if you come down with someone who has a hard time getting on the wagon or has in a wheelchair, that we'll be able to get you in there easier. We're also going to be doing this to our black hay ride wagon, the big uh, gooseneck with the double tires. It rides a little bit rougher, but it's another gooseneck. and gives us more room for people to be a little bit more comfortable. And we also have the two little covered wagons that we've used for years, and they're going to be getting a little TLC too. We're going to be fixing some broken parts on them changing out some springs and adding some axles so that they can handle the weight a little better. Because I know some people have been down there when we had those entertaining hay rides, Chris, when we blew out tires and broke axles. Because you're on a real farm when you go for a hay ride with Darnell Farms. So I'm gonna try to do some more videos as we go on showing you what we're doing. Mike's gonna develop a type of mount with some angle iron, right Mike? You wanna show them what we're doing there with that piece of angle you were experimenting with a minute ago? So show them what I thought we were going to do and it's not going to work and show them why. So originally I wanted to do this, but Mike real quickly reminded me that when you get angle iron, it does not have the same type of, uh, I guess, right angle there. It's not 90 degrees on it. Not 90 degrees on it. It's got a little bit of a rounded edge. So that would cause it to wobble on the edge of this old channel. So we decided real quick that the better way to do it would be, yes, he's got a little rock to it there. So show me how we do it now, Mike. We'll sandwich it, yeah, that. And what we'll do is we'll mount these with bolts ever so many feet, maybe every 24 inches or something, big heavy duty bolts, and we'll create it in sections. Junior said think you thought four sections would be good, so two on each side, and then we'll build the, what we call the dovetail part, the part that ramps down to the ground. And we're gonna use roll cage tubing, and I'll take them out and show them that. So I'm gonna leave you guys alone, let you keep working on it and kind of figure that one out, and I'll go show them the kind of steel we're going to use. I started using this roll cage tubing when I built the first uh, hayride wagon on the farm because it's really can get a good grip on it. It's just the right size. It's relatively lightweight, but strong enough to be a roll cage in a race car. It's strong enough to be a hayride wagon. And we picked up our steel from Interstate Steel over in Murphy. They delivered it straight here. A lot of times I go down to my neighbor Josh Eckstein at Eckstein Recycling and I buy scrap metal because it's a lot cheaper and he has a lot of good stuff. And it's just always fun to go to a scrap yard and find old junk. I'm a sucker for old metal, anything that's rusty you can work on. But right here is uh, the type of metal we're going to be using right in there. If you get my finger up where you can see it, right there. And again, it's, it's uh, good heavy duty fixed stuff. And then we'll be using that square tubing over there, the thick wall square tubing, and this uh, half inch uh, bar, flat bar, two inch wide, for anywhere we need gussets and strength. You know, and as time goes on, I'm sure, absolutely sure I'm gonna be needing more stuff, but this will get us started. And like I said, we'll do a video hopefully on every repair. And we've got more stuff to repair. I've got this old Peterbilt of mine back behind me here. She's gotta be worked on a little bit, gotta finish the axles up on it. We've got this refrigeration unit, it's gotta be completely done. New motor mount, new belts, new idlers for the pulleys. We've got this old international cab over here. I've had sitting out here for a year and a half, gotta have a new uh, fan spacer. So we've got all kinds of projects. So hopefully that'll be lots of fun videos if I can get the camera out and keep them dropping and breaking in the middle of it all. That'll be what we do today. 
I'm real proud of this crew in here. They're a heck of a crew. They did all the technical things the farm needed in the early part of the week so that they could dedicate their time over the next two or three days to getting the hayride wagons worked out. And the crew, uh, the field crew down at the farm is actually working on getting all the trash out of the field so that we can, uh, all the plastic and leftover drip from the old strawberry crop. And we're gonna be prepping the ground to plant a new strawberry crop. And those will be some videos coming up soon. So do me a favor, subscribe to these channels. It's gonna give me more opportunities to do, uh, you know, to add more cameras to the equipment so you can see all the aspects of what we're doing. And I should have one every day, I hope, for at least for a little while, if not one every other day. And, you know, you'll get to see exactly what happens <laughs> both chaotic and sometimes zen-like on a farm that just runs by the seat of its pants. So I love you guys. Again, subscribe. Go down to our farm in Brass City, North Carolina on the beautiful bank of the Tuckasuchi River. Make yourself at home. Get you some whips. Uh, check us out on any of the uh, social media platforms. I love you guys. It's time to get back to work. Don't do all the fun without me, guys. Here I come.